All right, let's talk about automations. This little tab right here. If you're going along and doing something on your site and you're like, how do I make this thing connect to this thing? How do I make this cause this? Head over to automations and you can do all kinds of powerful workflows here. Just about anything that you can imagine. This video is sponsored by me. Schedule a funnel mapping strategy session and together we'll go through your business, your goals, your plans, and you will come away with a custom diagram of your ideal funnel. You'll also have the option to have me build it for you in just one week with a funnel by Friday. So click the link in the description to schedule your session. So I like to start from scratch, but you can explore different recipes that they have. You add a trigger. So this is when, well, actually, first of all, <laughs> name it something. The trigger is whatever causes this chain to start going. So maybe it is that um, somebody booked an appointment and then they're going to get whatever happens. Maybe when you add a note to someone's profile, it's going to send an email to your staff. Um, or when a task is added, when a customer replies, they could get an auto reply, perhaps. Um, if they submit a survey, then you could thank them for submitting the survey, add them to a new pipeline step. The possibilities are seriously endless. So let's say somebody submitted a survey. Which survey is it? Survey is Funnel by Friday application and I guess that's it. If we wanted to say like when they're disqualified then something happens but uh, whoops. right now we're just gonna say they have submitted this and then we can add an action. We can send them an email. We can send them an SMS uh, if I had that connected, which I don't. Um, so one person here is asking how to um, automations for my pipeline to send a text and move them into the next stage. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, And now we are going to we can add contact. We can create or update opportunity. So which pipeline are we in? Let's say if we were in this pipeline, we could then say this is a VC has been scheduled. And you can put in whatever you want to here and here status, allow opportunity to move to any previous stage, allow duplicate opportunities. I think we need to do that. Um, we can wait some time. We can split the automation. So if they do this thing, then this happens. If they do that thing, then that happens. And when we're ready, we can test it and we can publish it and save. You'll also be able to see things up here about who has gone through this automation. Get some, um, you can specify that. You can specify what time it goes out. Lots and lots and lots of things you can do. So let's say, Contact changed. So we are going to send them an Instagram DM. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I might have to take advantage of that. Um, you can have multiple triggers here. You can set up your own trigger links. So that's in a separate spot, but they've already got some in here, which are <laughs> silly. But yeah, you can create trigger links to do things and then put them into here.
machen. You can do a whole lot of exploring in here and find some very cool stuff. But I'm going to go back without saving because I don't want to accidentally do anything. Um, we've got a lot. If you signed up through my link, you may have gotten a bunch of these different um, templates in here, which is just kind of annoying me because it's in the way. So I um, have my own folder that I created for my own stuff. So here is if somebody submits the form requesting my lead magnet, it sends them the download email, it waits, it sends them an email, it waits, it sends them an email, it adds a tag at the end that puts them on my regular newsletter list. So they wait till the end of that sequence to get that tag. Then I have access to membership. So somebody purchases my traffic school membership, they get a tag that says they are a traffic school member, they are granted that. And it sends them an email that says, welcome to traffic school. And here's where you can log in. And could probably even, I wonder if you could might be able to put the login information from there somehow, but I haven't looked at that, but I think they get sent an automatic one too when they're granted the membership offer. So you can get as simple or as complex as you want to with these. This one is live class. It depends on the appointment, which is pretty cool. So you can send reminders before and after. A particular appointment. So that's under time based. You can send a reminder if somebody's forgotten to pay. So this is where we set the trigger is this particular event and they are confirmed for it. They're in that calendar. Then they're going to get the reminder emails and the replay. So hopefully that helps you to see all the different possibilities of what you can do. Myself. Yes, that's me. Run the test. I don't know, maybe that means I'm going to see some test emails. I've never done that before either. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps you to see all the different possibilities of how you can use automations to supplement and create all kinds of workflows to make everything communicate within your your system. <laughs>